So you can get this off of uh, the Snapshots repository at Apache 2, but I don't feel like remembering the URL right now. Um, so good, I've got my disk file here. I'm going to do this. Uh, so now I should be able to see the file manager. Great. So I've got a file manager distribution. Right now it doesn't really have anything configured in it. Um, basically out of the box, all I've got to do to make the file manager work is I've got to configure its file manager properties. Uh, I've got to go down to um, Got to go down to here and say, oh, here we go. Uh, here's the path to our Lucene index. Okay, it's stored in user local file manager and put it in the catalog directory. Um, and I've got to tell it, oh, okay, I'm using the XML repository manager. Uh, all of the product type files and things are in user local file manager policy. And also for the validation layer, which is basically what validates metadata and stuff when it goes in, uh, it's in user local policy as well. And finally, there is a mypex file that does mypex detection. That is an user critique mypex file, etc. And then now, out of the box, we should be able to start this. And it recognized generic file. Good, I've got it ready. Awesome. So let me go over here and go out and get into user local. Okay, so let me grab the uh, let me grab the one, or not Toronto. Oh, yeah, this one. Let me, let me grab 03 for this. I ran this before, and I know there's a reason why I'm doing this. So I'm just going to grab 03 from Maven into uh, all of the patching OVT workflow. I grab the 03 release, because the workflow 03 disk, that's part of GC. Um, Get it? Good. Okay. I'm going to unpack that. Kind of workflow. Should be able to see the workflow now. Awesome. Okay. Let me see the two, etc. And edit the workflow to properties. Uh, I think I only need to set. Oh uh, yeah. So where is the workflow repository catalog? Works on its repository. So we that in user local workflow repository. Um, where are? Oh, great. Yeah, that's. Kind Oh, right, I need to set that. I think that's all I had to set. Um, let's go back here. Let's go to Ben. Let's start a little manager. Uh, oh, shit. It's top of me. Because there's something I forgot to set. Ah. So this has to be set to user local workflow policy. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, looks like it started correctly. So now, let's go get. Uh, let's go to user local. Mm -hmm. I think I can grab the resource manager. I can just grab it from my 04 version. Let's do trunk resource manager. Let's do target cat resource snapshot disk. We're done. And there. Let's on target cat resource. Boom. Go to front manager. Awesome, so I basically just need to go into policy, and I need to tell it, uh, let's see if I need to tell it anything. Uh, no, it's running on local hosts, good, 2111. Uh, I think the keys are set up correctly by default. Uh, let's go to the setter directory, let's check out the resource and the properties. Pretty sure I don't need to set anything. Uh, let's see, oh, I do, I need to set these two things. So, this is actually, should be set to user local web manager policy. And this should be set to the same thing. Uh, user local web manager policy. Okay, and I should be able to go to this and say res manager start. And I should be able to say batch dev. 2001. A batch dev is basically that we ship a little mini job execution system called batch dev with a resource manager in case you just want to start some over XML RPC, some distributed jobs and stuff, and bootstrap it. Okay, so cool. So now let me go here. Um, user local. Oh, actually, leave that there. So new window. User local. Let me grab the crawler. I think I can just grab from my home source. ODT, trunk, crawler. Target, crawler. Stay with me, guys. I'm almost there. This is the, the delivery on this is going to be so awesome. 
Um, let's see. Color. I guess. Did I not produce? Oh, right. Yeah, actually, I have to grab this from Haven Central. Uh, we can grab this from Haven Central. Or in two or G O D T. Uh, cast crawler of three. Um, three cast crawler of three. Yes. Crawler, awesome, we've got a crawler, cool, and I don't need to configure that, that's set already. So, uh, now what I can do is I can go get PCS. So let me go grab um, PCS, repo, or maybe, or, maybe here, or Apache code T, PCS core, uh, three, PCS core, three, just make sure to do um, And then, Okay, cool. So I should be able to go into scripts and then do this. Oh, uh oh. Got this up. I got something. Oh, I haven't run a workflow yet. Hold on. One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, so first, let me do this. First, let me run a workflow. Workflow so host 9001, operations and event. Uh, let's run some. That name. Great. Okay, so then let's also let's go ingest a file. Um, I know that there's a file. Oh, yeah, we got my crawler. Let's go ingest a file real quick. Launcher. Uh, so I tell the crawler launcher what crawler ID I want to run. So I'm going to run standard product crawler because I've already generated metadata. I've done this ahead of time. I'm going to run, I'm going to connect to the file manager running at 9000, which is the standard port for that. The file extension is met. The product path is data staging. Uh, the action IDs are, you yeah, know, oh, actually, I need the action IDs. And then I need to tell it client transfer. I need to tell it to actually the as File manager, data transfer, local data transfer, factory, let's go. Boom, adjusted, awesome. So now, let me try this again. Awesome, okay. Cool. So I ingested a file. Uh, PCS stat just told me I've got a running uh, file manager, workflow manager, research manager up. If there's bash stub, it's up and running. Um, uh, the crawler is down because I just ran it ad hoc. I ran it one time. So let's make the crawler be up. Hey, crawler, um, you know what? Uh, action ID is unique. Uh, don't ingest something you've already ingested. And oh, by the way, run on uh, port, what is it looking for? It's looking for something on 9020. Run on 9020 and uh, you know crawl every 30 seconds. Uh, great, so crawl, dun, 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 and then here we go. Awesome. So we've got a crawler now that we're monitoring that we can see it just finished one crawl. Um, it, it crawler is actually up and running. It told us what's going on uh, for that. Um, oh look, we just did something called test file. 
So uh, let's go ahead and PCS trace that. So PCS trace said, great, here's all the metadata for it. Oh, by the way, you didn't generate this from a workflow. Uh, there's no workflow for it. It doesn't really have any upstream or downstream lineage because we didn't store something called input files or output files. Input files and output files are two metadata fields that we use to determine the upstream lineage or the downstream lineage. Let's make it, let's make it say the upstream or the downstream lineage. So remember I told you guys in data staging that I had, uh, I had, some, I had a file there? So let me go to data staging. Uh, I have this test file.txt and I've got a met file that I've already pre-baked up for it. So let me go to test file.txt.net. And uh, let me go ahead and add two metadata fields for it. Key. Input files. Key. Uh, I'm going to call it some file to that went into producing this. And uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, okay, cool. So let me do one thing. Um, in my file manager, I'm in the policy for generic file, which it ships with. Uh, oops. Policy product oh, elements. Here's oops. here are the different elements that we're cataloging or that are available to us to catalog. So let's add an element. Let's just add a minimal element definition. ID equals URN, ODT, input files. Input files. Uh, let's make it a normal description. Let's give it a normal DC element. Let's just say slash element. Okay, let me grab this. Uh, ID will be important. Uh, let me open up the product type element map. Let me go down to generic file and map this element. And then I'll, just, I'll wrap up on this. Um, now let me restart the file manager. Let me re-ingest that file. Uh, so actually, I'm going to shut it down. And I'm going to turn unique off, which means go ahead and do it again. Awesome, it readjusted it, and so here, let's run PCS trace again. And there we go. We have a upstream lineage. Uh, it told us that our uh, basically test file uh, had some file foo that went in, uh, that it went into producing uh, sort of for it. So basically, everything with regards to trace and all this stuff is keyed off of metadata fields that are either captured by PCS when it's running from metadata extractors, during the pipeline, whatever, and then we just automatically have access to this information via our PCS package. Um, I'm not going to spend the time, because it's, it's, it's late, but um, uh, I could just drop the REST services on top of this and then start curling to get that information too. But yeah, that's the end of my talk, and thanks for hanging around waiting.